Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a blueprint review for the Immolator DM56. Immolator means to kill or destroy, so I'm hoping we can do some of that with this DM56 blueprint. This is from the Battle Pass, I do believe. There's actually a few of the blueprints that you get from the Battle Pass that actually have this effect where it's almost like the weapon is heating up. Now, I think I heard that it's when you're shooting that it actually has that animation, not just when you're uh, getting kills or anything, but we're going to find out. I could be wrong on that, so stick around here in the video today because we will find out together. But god damn, it looks sick. I really like the look of this one. We're going to have a compensator. We got the heavy barrel. We have the nightfall scope. It's a thermal. We have the recoil stock pad and the cheek riser. So attachment-wise, it doesn't seem too bad. It seems like it was actually kind of thought out a little bit, which is kind of crazy to say if I got to be completely honest. Let's hop in the range first. Check it out. Uh, let me just make sure it does not like look like it's heating up on its own. It does not. So it's either when you're firing or getting kills. But just this look alone. This looks amazing. Cosmetically, well done. Some of the blueprints have been very, very nice when it comes to Season 1. So uh, here's the thermal. You actually get one of these in the campaign to use on a weapon on the snow map. Uh, it's sitting on the ground towards the end of the mission when you go into that large open area and you start uh, getting ambushed. Uh, this is one of those scopes you can use. And it's not bad. It's certainly not great. It's not the best thermal in the game, but it's not bad. Uh, one more inspect in the dark for you guys. And it seems like it's blue, like it's getting colder, which is actually a really interesting effect. But, um, oh yeah, wow. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, can we... Oh, wow, what a good looking blueprint. Oh, and the scope. Wow. Oh my God. For the free? I mean, obviously the blueprint or the battle pass isn't free, but, and the blueprint's not free, but damn, this is a nice looking one. I really hope we can hop in a game and it performs pretty well. Um, You know, in a world where SPMM is so high, will it stand up to MCWs and Strikers? We'll find out. And Rival 9s? We'll find out. But if we can get a pretty decent range map, I, I think we'll do okay. Now, I'm not going to run smokes, but I think a lot of you guys would. Um, and, of course, for Blueprint Reviews, we use the weapon as it comes. Whatever attachments they give us is what we're using. And, honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. I'm actually a little excited. So, let's go ahead and hop into a favela. Not a great map by any means, but, hey, I'm going to do my best. There's actually a couple lower levels on the other team, so that gives me hope. I think I got shit on last game, so maybe uh, SPMM will be like, yeah, you know what, here's a gimme. Here's a gimme. So, let's hop in. It's a game in progress, but not by much. And hey, we're going to get right on the roof right away. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, let me get used to this. It feels actually a little... I don't want to say clunky, but I think that is the word I'm... don't know where they're spawning. I'm assuming they're going to spawn in that back corner. I might have to move up. Fuck. Damn, you fucking choked. That's embarrassing. Well, I can already tell you this. It feels really good. Man, I almost feel like it, it cools off way too quick, though. Like, I would love to have that full cosmetic look that it has, but I just feel like, uh... You know, the blueprint's actually good enough to where you're... Oh, oh my god, it's actually really good. It's really good. Dude, they... Oh, okay, friendly. I thought they had a streak already. I was about to lose it. I don't know, guys. This one might actually get the pass. I do not give blueprints the pass a lot. Like, I, I do not hand out the pass lightly. It has to actually be a good blueprint. Has to look cool, has to... Well, I think performance is what I look out for first. And then cosmetics will definitely play a factor. Because if it looks cool cosmetically, but it's a sidewinder, you know, it's kind of a... 
kind of a little fuck you from the devs, in my opinion. Yeah, I just, I shit the bed there. I didn't know he went into that corner. I couldn't even fucking get down the little hatch. So I definitely think you're limited because of the scope, but the good thing is, even if you put, like, a reflex on, it's not going to take much away from the weapon. That's that's one thing um, that I definitely, definitely try to point out to you guys is attachments that don't take away from the cosmetic look of the weapon. And whether you can change them out or add them, whatever the case may be, that's something you want to note. So you could definitely take this scope off and still have a really solid weapon. Oh my god, it looks so good. Am I getting shot from? Did he make clean him up? I think he did. Yeah, we definitely got a little bit lighter of a lobby. I mean, these kids are just missing shots. So I think I already know I want to give this the pass. I, yeah, I can't hit with the scope. I can't hit with scope. Um, so keep it at range, but I want to take this off. And I want to put on the slate. And I want to see what the weapon looks like. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. So, it still looks good. It still looks good. Your slate reflector, whatever reflex you put on there, yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna heat up like the rest of your weapon. I just got aim assist somewhere. As you can see there, like the sight's not changing, but it's not taking anything away from the weapon. Nothing. Like the weapon still is performing well, it still looks cool. Wow, it is actually a really nice build. Yeah, dude, this one's a pass by a mile. I'm not gonna say it's a 10 out of 10, but it's... For a DM, it's it's not bad. Like, actually, all things considered, the recoil and the ADS, like, the ratio there is... is pretty good i don't know what i'd rate it i mean for for the dm56 i think we have to give it a 10 because it's it's performing fine it, it, there's no issues like i'm actually shocked it's not often I, I get shocked by the performance of a blueprint because usually they're all shit but god damn i am pleasantly surprised I will say, these guys aren't the best players in the world. They are shooting back. They're competent enough. Got a little confused there. Wow, I almost turned on him. Ah, cod timing, you bitch. I almost, almost sold that. Hopefully my teammate didn't die. Yeah, man, this one's solid. No complaints from me. I always forget I have that stupid EMP gun on now. I usually have a, like a high mobility pistol or something. So where are they spawning right now? I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, this this blueprint review is, is done for me. I mean... One more kill and I'll leave. Ah, he rotated the whole way just to get me with his swarm. Hey, I mean, that's the right play. I respect it. One more and we're done. We'll just bail out the game. Yeah, man, it's solid. It is really, really good. I like it, dude. I like it a lot. 
Do me a favor, make sure you drop it a like on this one. This is definitely one I would recommend you unlock and you get as soon as possible. It is really solid all around, cosmetically super cool, and uh, really makes me want to try out, I think it's the um, the AMR. Not the AMR, the, I can't remember what the SMG is called. Yeah, the AMR, I did have it right. Uh, I think there's one for this as well, so I'm definitely going to check that one out next. Do me a favor, leave that like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next one. I'm out.